Hey guys, what's up? So, I made something. It's for our meat turkeys. Mm -hmm. So, I made them a new home because they're about to outgrow their Salatin style chicken tractor that they're currently in. I'll show you some of how it went together for me. I think this project took me a little bit longer than I normally would have uh, liked it to. Um, I've been working on this now for I think two weeks um, and Don't get me wrong. I haven't sat down and worked on it for eight hours at a time or anything like that I think the most I ever spent on it in one day was about four hours and then every other time It's been about an hour here an hour there maybe a couple hours at a time Just to finish up some things um, The biggest trick for me was learning how to bend the conduit That was definitely something I wasn't familiar with and had no experience in doing so but it turned out, it's not the greatest looking, but it's covered up with a tarp, so. type of chicken tractor well so as you know I'm a big fan of the Salatin style tractors we for our meat birds um, we also have right now meat turkeys in a Salatin style tractor problem is those are not made for meat turkeys uh, meat turkeys get a lot bigger um, we knew that going into it so we knew we had we were gonna go try something different I didn't know what but then after going and talking, or after going to Jake and Becky's uh, White House on the Hills and seeing their stress-free chicken tractors, got me thinking, hey, that's not a bad route. We kind of, Jake kind of walked me through what he liked, what he didn't like about them, um, what, how easy they were to build, the skill level. So um, basically, I settled on that. That's going to finish out our meat turkeys. And then in the spring, our hope is, uh, we are planning on doing meat birds again next spring, but we um, want to increase our production. So next year we'll be trying to do upwards of 70 birds at a minimum, probably, um, to try to supply our family with something we eat a lot of, which is, chick uh, which is chicken. And we like raising our own chicken. Um, and um, so that, this will increase our capacity, being able to raise more chickens at one time. Oh, I almost forgot. One of the other things I wanted to talk about was uh, we hit a big mark on YouTube for us, and that's 500 subscribers. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have subscribed. Um, it's a big deal for us. That was one of our goals starting out this year. We published, I think, our first video on YouTube. I think it was uh, February of this year. I think it was the 2nd or 3rd of February is when that video um, dropped. So 500 subscribers from February to now, I feel like that's a pretty good success. Doing this part-time, raising a family at the same time, um, that's something I'm pretty proud of. I know Jesse's proud of it. We thank you guys a lot, and it wouldn't be possible without you. So um, we appreciate all the comments and the likes and the support that we get from you guys, what we learn from you guys. Hopefully you're learning something from us, even if it's just learning from some of our failures. Um, we really appreciate that. So, um, with that being said, thanks a lot. We're out.
Taking it down.